In today's video, we're going to scramble over some rocks. Get a little lost. Just for this view all to ourselves. This is the Baboon Lake Hike. Hi, my name is Peng. I'm a photographer and I'm a travel addict. And today we're going to do a short overnight cross-country backpacking trip to Baboon Lake in Sierra Nevada of California. We got our backpacks packed, ready to go. This trail starts at Lake Sabrina, which is about a 20 minute drive from the town of Bishop. There is a shuttle bus you can take as of 2022, but due to low ridership, it may be canceled after the season. So be sure to check online first for the latest info. We parked our van just outside the Sabrina campground on the side of the road. So from the Sabrina campground and beyond is uh, no overnight camping. Uh, excuse me, no overnight parking. That's why people just park on the side here. Now, if for some reason this whole stretch is all filled up, which is very unlikely, uh, if you keep going down, you see there's a green sign through North Lake at the junction. There's uh, even more parking. So parking for backpacking here is not a, usually not an issue. Before we started hiking, we decided to use the campground bathroom. And this is what greeted us. So I don't know. I, I'm starting to wonder if it was propped up here or something. Yeah, and it rolled back. Oh, actually, no. See, that, there's a hole. That's what it is. If it was up like that, probably just rolled over. But pretty, pretty funny. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, good thing we have our own toilet in the van. Anyway, back to the hike. From the parking lot, follow the main road. I just realized these are very elaborate pillars. Or just a road bridge. After 0.4 miles, we reach the actual trailhead. There is a bear box here, but no trash can. You'll see some parking spaces here, and as I've mentioned, they're for day hikers only. The trail starts off on a fairly gentle grade, and we can see the Lake Sabrina Dam almost right away. Currently there is a fire in Yosemite, an old fire, so you can see the haze in the valley below. But I would say we are pretty lucky because look at this. Barely smoke free. Looks very glorious. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like your pose. <laughs> For the next stretch, we pretty much follow the eastern shore of Lake Sabrina. This part of the trail is wide and well maintained, with the occasional rocky sections. At around 1.25 miles, we enter John Muir Wilderness. And at 1.7 mile, we met up with a junction to George Lake. Here we are at the George Lake Junction. And if this name sounds familiar, that's because I did another hike uh, called Tai Lakes. From Tai Lakes, you can go over a pass and then get to George Lake and come all the way down to here in Lake Sabrina. And I will link that video somewhere over here. So far, the trail has been climbing steadily but gently. After the George Lake Junction, though, the trail began a steeper climb. There were a couple of easy creek crossings. Oh, you see the flower? The flower. Nice.
Eventually the trail becomes more rocky as we reach the first set of switchbacks. While we're climbing, let's talk about the stats. We did this hike on July 30th, 2022. The Sabrina Trailhead sits at 9,216 feet. But remember, if you're doing this as a backpacking trip, you have to park the car further down the road. So that's the data I put down here. I captured this on my Garmin InReach 66i and it includes any detours I took. So use these numbers only as a reference. As we climb higher, the view starts to open up more and it just gets better and better. Take a break here and enjoy this wide open panoramic view because after this stretch, the trail will start heading into a small canyon following the Blue Lake drainage. If I remember correctly, Blue Lake is just beyond that. There's a series of switchback up that. We arrived at the last switchback just in time to run into a pack train coming down. Well, a very short pack train. I don't know much about horses, but I wonder if this is a young one because normally I feel like the pack train moves faster than this, even on rocky terrains. Anyway, I always keep a good distance from pack animals so I don't spook them. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Ah. Nice. <laughs> Makes sense. And if you're wondering why it's called Lombard Street, this is the switchback. And this is the famous Lombard Street in San Francisco. See, I'm still learning something new on every hike. Finally, we arrived at Blue Lake. You can stay on the north side of the lake and the view is spectacular here. But our destination is Baboon Lake, so we have to continue on by crossing this creek. Thanks to plenty of rocks and logs, it wasn't too hard. After the creek crossing, the trail follows the west shore of Blue Lake. We decided to find a spot and take a quick lunch break here. So depending on where you start the hike, for about three and a half miles and about 1600 feet of elevation change, this is a pretty easy hike. Uh, but with a very rewarding view. Yeah, so for the effort to reward ratio this lake is definitely up there definitely worth even if you don't do a bike backpacking trip just a day hike here is nice it's nice to lay on the rock take a quick break and watch the clouds dance After the break, we continued on. Blue Lake is very popular with backpackers since it's so easy to get to. So there are plenty of campsites dotted along the trail. In less than half a mile, we come upon a junction. Go right here to continue on to a series of other beautiful and popular backpacking destinations like Hungry Packer Lake and Midnight Lake. For today, we're going to go straight and follow the Donkey Lake Trail. The trail becomes narrower and rougher from here on. Oh, very nice. Great place to take a break, filter some water. A little bit further on, Donkey Lake Trail turns left. We're gonna go right, and this is where Maintain Trail ends. As you can see here, even though it's cross-country, 
A lot of times you can still find faint trails to follow. Before the hike, I searched online and downloaded a GPX track. Over the years, I've learned not to completely rely on them. The track could have been recorded on the device with inaccurate GPS signal, or the person who recorded it may not have taken the easiest route. Lots of reasons not to trust it. In this case, <laughs> it led us directly to a cliff and a waterfall. But these GPX files are still useful to have because it gives me a general sense of which direction to go towards. So the GPX track led up to a waterfall with lots of wet rocks and we just don't feel comfortable going out that way so we decided to look for an alternative route. So we found this because the idea is to get over these rocks. This is bringing back memories of on Mansai. Okay, so it's not horrible, but as usual, if you're going to climb up any steep cross-country routes, always pause a second, look down, make sure you're comfortable coming down the same route. And if you are, keep going. I don't know what's over there. I think we're going to go up this way. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna go take a look at the scenery. I think the waterfall is right below us. Yeah, there's a waterfall right there. So the lake should be somewhere beyond that. After scrambling up the rocks, we eventually pick up another faint trail. A good sign. See the footprints here. Except here, there's a deep section. Yes, just go, go, run, run, okay. By the way, this creek we've been following and crossing came from Dabun Lake. After the creek crossing, the climb becomes much easier. Looks like that's the easiest way to climb up this. So, Jeez, the GoPro is so dirty right now. All right, I can already see the lake over there, but before we go down to the lake, look at this view. There is Blue Lake, there is Donkey Lake. I don't know if you can see, but there's Baboon Lake. I assume it's called Baboon Lake because I have to climb on all four to get up here. On the way here, we met Ranger Kyle, who told us there are some really nice campsites on the north side of the lake. So that's where we decided to go. Which means we have to cross the creek again. They're all fairly sturdy. Fortunately, as scary as these logs look, they're actually pretty easy to cross. I'm just happy it's low water because high water we wouldn't be able to go this way or have to climb over. <laughs> what? If you're wondering why I put all that effort, scramble, climb over rocks just to get here. That is why. There's a spot right here. We're the only two people here, at least so far. I haven't seen anyone else. We have this whole lake to ourselves once again. The other spot is closer to the water, but honestly, this is a better view, I think. Look, it's higher up. I like it. 
Also, we're uh, far enough on the water. I think the other one is too close to the water. Oh my god, so beautiful. I'm very happy here. We can sit up here for dinner. Big flat area. I am a happy camper. Literally. <laughs> and before we fully commit with setting up the tent, I'm gonna walk around a little bit. Just make sure that is the best spot. That's what I'd like to do is, you know, find a spot, put your bag down, but always look around a little bit because you never know. There's sort of a spot there. There's a spot there. There's a very tiny spot here. Oh, here's a spot right here. Oh, this is really nice too. Oh, there are more spots here. There's a lot of, a lot of spots. Now I can decide. That one's closer to the water. This one has better view. Oh, what should I do? What should I do? I'm really tempted to come up here because this view is so nice. But on the other hand, I might get reflection over there in the morning. I can't decide. I can't decide. You know, maybe I'll still stay down there because I think this campsite is just a bit narrow for because we have a two-person tent, so just a tidal, tiny little bit narrow. But you know what? We're right there. Just bring the tripod here and take time lapse here. Problem solved. And now, ladies and gentlemen, cue dramatic music. Here's our dinner with a view. Very dramatic lake right now. It's supposed to rain tonight, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised all the cloud is moving in. With all the clouds, it got dark soon and we went to bed shortly after dinner. Good morning. It never did rain last night, but the wind has calmed down and we have some nice, beautiful reflection in the morning. All right, we're all packed up and ready to go. Sadly, it's time to go. Let's just sneak in one last look at this view. It's pretty amazing that we haven't seen another soul since yesterday after Blue Lake. And this is the weekend in July. Kind of makes all that rock scrambling worth it. Going back is easy if we just retrace our steps. Time to scramble down these rocks. Donkey Lake is so close, it's right there. Once we get to Donkey Lake, we'll have trail again. For me, surveying a cross-country route is usually easier going downhill because I can see further. So today I decided to try and find an alternative route, hopefully easier than the way we climbed up yesterday. And it paid off. This rocky slope is a lot more gentle. Yep, so that was it. We're down. Uh, now, yesterday we just went up straight up this way, but today we came down, there's an easier way just behind these rocks. There's a, that um, kind of a little, little gap, little canyon gorge that you can come down. So we just came down through that crack uh, over there. And then now we have almost like a real trail here. This is so much easier than yesterday. So, 
really curious to where we uh, missed this missed this truck. Okay, I think I found out where we went wrong. We uh, came up this way, but then we just kept going that way and follow the creek when you should be coming up here and go over this little uh, notch here and go through the meadow and go up that way. Are you putting an arrow? Yeah. I'm gonna pile some rocks. I will too, but... No, you should put it over there. It's easier to see. Get some rocks. Okay. Now, normally you shouldn't be doing this because number one, leave no trace. Number two, this is meant to be trail marker. So if you pile them all over the place for your Instagram pictures, it will confuse people. So only when necessary you put this up. But yeah. All right, let me go down. Yep, now I'm down here. I can see exactly where I went wrong. Because we came up here and you see this giant cliff. And then you see this easy path right here. Of course, you're going to go this way, but you should be going right. And now that I'm looking at it, there is one, a big one over there, but it's really easy to miss because, you know, you're just going on this way looking for the path. See, there's a path here. You're not really looking to the right, but hopefully this will help some future hikers. All right, from here on, it's all smooth trailing. We can see Lake Sabrina and Van and Shower is right there. So we're almost home free. I really enjoyed this trail. It's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. Thank you for coming along with me on this trip. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like. And if you like to see more contents like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I will see you next time. So yesterday on that side, I noticed how elaborate this bridge is. Then I realized on this side, it's even more elaborate. This concrete, and molded it in a way that looks like wood grain, you see? <laughs> oh, that's too funny. <laughs>